Hi everybody, it's Christina here and welcome back to my channel. So um, today we actually got to see um, Oppenheimer, which if you don't know, movie. very good movie. Um, he is credited with creating the atom bomb, which honestly, um, growing up, uh, you know, it was always about him. Um, but this movie really does shine light that even though it's called Oppenheimer, that he wasn't the only one who worked on the project, which would have been good to, you know, for people to tell that he wasn't the only one. Which I know, like, there's a whole project, but, like, you know, it was his main focus. But they did a really, really good job of showing the political side of it all. Um, it was, honestly, what would you rate it, Charlie? 9.9? .9. What was the point zero one percent? What point one percent? The effects? And, uh, the actors occasionally mumbled. Oh, the mumbling, yeah. yeah. Um there was some mumbling that uh was really kinda hard to make out in the theater. Um today was uh, you know, their special screening. So uh we bought tickets right away. As soon as we could I bought tickets for my husband. Um, I would give it a, probably a 9.5 out of 10 is 10. And uh, I'm just, it's really not about the movie, but there was a lot of um, really, really loud sounds. Like, of course, they're building a bomb. But I mean, like, throughout the whole movie, it would get really, really loud. And then you couldn't hear what the actors were saying, so I kind of agree with him. But it was a really good movie. Um, it had, I was very worried because it had a lot of, like, name people in it. And, you know, sometimes when there's a bunch of, like, name, big name actors in it, it's, like, really questionable. But it, it was so good. It had, of course, Killian Murphy, Emily Blunt, uh, Robbie, Robert Downey Jr., Ronnie, um... It's not Malik, and like his, I think it's Malik is how they actually pronounce it. Um, there was just the guy from who played in Numbers and also Ten Things I Hate About You, Michael. I can't remember his name, but he was in it. Um, again, a bunch of name actors, and it was really, really good. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I suggest you do. Um, it is very, I think they did a really good job. Um, oh, Matt Damon's in it. How could I forget Matt Damon? Um, but anyway, really good. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you seeing it. Uh, because again, really good. And it kind of gives, it kind of opens your eyes on like, one, who all was actually involved in the project and how it kind of went. Two, if you don't really understand politics and it, it kind of just reinforces that um, it it is a double-edged sword, as my husband said, with politics. So, um, yeah. Amazing, amazing video. Would recommend. Uh, again, love it. it I'm going to, as soon as it comes out, I'm going to buy it. So, and I don't, I don't go buying movies anymore because <laughs> the last one I bought was The Meg. That tells you anything and it wasn't very good well I mean the last when I say buy movies I mean like new movies that just come out the last one that I ran to go get was the Meg and uh that was a let down that wasn't very good but anyway go see it if you haven't um I love you guys and enjoy